Hello, it's me again, uh, just playing about on some more Wadkin toys. Uh, this time it's another, well, it's another cross cut. It's the Wadkin CC uh, short arm. Uh, so it's uh, so I don't need like a three and a half meter wide bench and a, or a hole in the wall for the back of it to, to run through. So uh, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, for it's a beast, it's an 18 inch blade. Uh, it'll take up to about a 60 mil wide trenching head. So, uh, yeah, you can really cut some crap out with this stuff. It weighs a bloody ton because it's about an inch thick, solid cast everything. Uh, it's a seven and a half kilowatt motor, so your fingers ain't going to even remotely last if this thing touches it. It's, uh, it's not going to slow down. All it's going to do is just chew you up and spit you out the other end. So uh, I'll show you what it's like. This is it. This is the beast. Watkin CC. It's, uh, it's an old bit of kit, but the old ones are the bloody best. By a long way. So you're telling me it's all solid cast. Rollers, grooved rollers. So in the arm, when you pull the arm out, even that weighs a bloody ton. It runs in these. So your grooved rollers, you've got four. Totally adjustable. So you can have it nice and tight, which will be a pain in the arse to pull backwards and forwards, or slightly loose, but not too loose that it rocks the arm as it pulls out these were the only sort of flaws that i could think about with this bit of kit but yeah this is a seven and a half kilowatt motor <laughs> it's a uh, an animal so if i just slide it back you'll see what i mean when it runs through the actual casting so on this one, it actually runs on the arm. You see what I mean? So on this you have the gap at the back. On this you need a big gap at the back. And these are the short arm ones. So when you have the long arm ones, you really need some space. So uh, we'll open it up. Uh, inch and a quarter so you can put some big stuff in it's got its peg with peg hole in so, uh, so when you put your disc in if you're doing a lot of hardwood stuff you don't want your disc spinning on the shaft because it'll either wear your blade out or it'll cut a groove into your shaft and then all things buggered but yeah but this gap you see, you've got the thickness of your blade, and then the distance in there, that's how thick you can have a trenching head. So it's uh, it is brilliant, absolutely bloody brilliant. So, uh, I'll put the trenching head in. By the way, that's the size of that blade to the size of this blade. If you can see the comparison, that's 18, that's 14, so it's still even bigger than most table saws on a cross cut. So, uh, and this still isn't the biggest cross cut they do, they do a 24 inch, which you've got to be a bit short of marbles to to use that bloody thing. Uh, looking on the old Wadkin Burr's Green sites and it's been, they've put a very nice clip of the old vintage Wadkins and uh, DeWalt's were one of the first ones to bring these out. It actually had a winder on the front because I don't think anybody was strong enough to actually stop these things if it grabbed the wood and jumped forward at you. 
so they actually they put a winder on the front of the arm and you cranked it and that brought it out and back in nice and steady but some of the things that they were cutting with that you just you'd want to stand at least a few meters away from it it was an absolute beast so uh, well, yeah uh, these are some of the trenching heads some of the little ones some of the groovers another expandable trenching head that will go up to uh, 55 mil I think that one but this one this is the one that I've been using which is the, the beast another great bit of kit from Wadkin even with blunt blades in puts like a dream where there's not a lot stopping it when it gets going again little knickers on the side so it cuts before they chew the bread chunks out where I'll get that in and I'll show you what it's made of but see you in a mouth right we'll get this uh, get this blade off and get the trenching head put on so, uh, it's not finger tight by the way I have loosened it off before uh, you say anything so, wind it off off Take your collar off. This is the little peg I was telling you about that helps stop it all spinning. But size of the blade, is, that's going through anything. You have to take this little peg out. It's only a little screw in, little grub screw. Put that on the magnet. Drop the trenching head in. get it to rise and fall is on this so that's just a lock and then this is your winder if you can see from my shaky hands it's your winder for up and down so we'll send it up I've just been messing about with these so it's replaceable bits of MDF so, uh, yeah right I'll get a little bit of wood so yeah done clean you up there for a second might shake the hell out of it yeah. Right. Grab a, a tape just to show you. Look, 44 mil green, 40 mil deep. It's still winding down. I haven't got a brake on it. But, uh, well, if it's hit you, it's too bloody late. But, uh, but yeah. Very nice, very nice. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>